fishing under the bung. Not a method I personally like. Personally, I find it boring. However, in the right hands on the right day, it is a very, very efficient method of catching fish. Fishing under the bung. Let's put the rod down. The bung, it's a sighting blob. Can be made like these, of sticky polystyrene that simply folds over the line to more elaborate contraptions. They don't need to be elaborate. The beauty of this is you can set the depth. So if the trout are feeding at a specific depth, you can set it simply by sliding the bung up and down the line until you get the depth that the fish are feeding on. Absolutely deadly, needs the patience of a saint and the concentration of a sniper. One of the best in the business that I've ever come across at fishing under the bung is the Darth Vader of fly fishing himself, Mick Cater. Some of us would call this fishing with the dark side. There's no one better, Mick Chater of Derby, Metal Mickey himself. Let's watch how Metal Mickey gets on. Hi there, Mick. Hey, Nick. Morning. Mick Chater. Here he is, the Darth Vader of fly fishing. What he doesn't know about fishing under the bung isn't worth knowing. Absolutely deadly. I'm going to leave you in Mick's hands. Mick, there's no pressure but I expect you to catch a fish certainly within the next two or three minutes. No problem. Take it away, Mick. <laughs> well, Tony, I've just been toying with you till now. Mick, uh, just to come up, uh... I'll say this in a simple way, I hate you. <laughs> be careful you don't lose it, Mick. It you would be, it'd be tragic. Door, it, I could, oh, well, uh, no. Look at this, it's got to be a 20 pound run to this. By your scale, <laughs> almost certain, Mick. I'll zoom in with the GoPro, because it's a small fish, we'll make it look big, shall we? <laughs> Are you going to land it? I'm getting bored already. The fish is a better conversationalist. I think no more than pound, pound yeah. and a half. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not unho unhooking yeah, it for I'm, you. I think my scales are more accurate than yours, Tony. Another beautiful, clean Danebridge fish. Wrapped up in the dark forces. Off to fight another day. So Mick, what's the important things that you need to understand and learn before you can be successful at fishing under the bung? Well, one of the, one of the things is getting the depth right on the day. Uh, obviously weather's got a big influence on it. Your hatches and your buzzers coming up from the bottom. And obviously an element to look. How about concentration? Uh, me being an ex-course fisherman, I'm used to watching a float for a period of time, so no problem to me. Where a lot of the uh, other fly fishermen think it's uh, not really the purest thing to do, but uh, it catches fish. I can't understand why he would say that some of us think it's not a purest <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> Undoubtedly, it is a great way of taking fish, and I've seen you in various places around the country catch some spectacular bags. So, what are we using today then, Mick? This is a home tied uh, chamois worm. It's the first time I've brought it out this morning, and had two fish on it straight away, so it works. It works, and where are the fish today then? How far down do you think they are? Well, I've just gone down to about two and a half foot. Just, just, these fish are just cruising around the side here, and just had the two. It uh, started off at a foot and a half, but if you're fishing the bung, it's worthwhile having ten minutes, change your depth. And as you say, he's already had two fish. Sadly, I've yet to have a take. 
Oh, but lucky Tony. The day is young, mate. The day <laughs> is young. And uh, may the force be with me as well. Right, I'm going to tackle up. I'm going to get a line in the water. I'll catch up with you later. See you in a bit. Well, first take of the day. It came and had a couple of knocks. And we're not fishing the bung. We're fishing the more gentlemanly, the genteel way of fly fishing. And I'm sure if fish could talk, and we interviewed the fish, even the fish would say it preferred being treated this way by a gentleman. And I can feel the loathing in Mick Chater's eyes as he's begging for this fish to come off. Again, for the size of the fish, these fish at Danebridge do put up a good fight. Now one of the things we have been playing with at the GAC is the fish cam. Now today we've got the fish cam mounted on the end of the landing net. So hopefully as the fish comes in we can give you the net's eye view of the fish coming in. It's a nice rainbow. Not a huge fish, but as you can see by the bend in the rod, they do scrap like demons here. It's starting to tire now. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. It was starting to tire. Now he's up on the surface. Come on, fish. You know you've had it. Let's have you in. fish clean fit hooked right in the scissors what a beautiful looking fish absolutely cracking well, by Mick Chater's scale, I reckon this is a seven pounder, if it's an ounce. Let's put him back before Mick sees. As you can see, fish juggling probably isn't one of my strong points. How was that tone? That's quite funny. <laughs> this is my very first fish caught on the bung. And Tate has got the landing net now, he's just trying to make me lose it. Well, what can I say? I mean, you can see it on the camera. I mean, you're practically sitting on my, on my lap now. <laughs> Only in your dreams, Mr. Chater. <laughs> I'm going to throw this rod away now, in case I get addicted to fishing on the dark side. Which I probably won't if he doesn't give me my landing net soon. Yeah, I think you should land it for me like I did for you. Oh, that gets stuffed. I hope it falls <laughs> off. <laughs> As you can see, there's nothing like the spirit of friendship when it comes to fly fishing. What he doesn't realise is my fish isn't going to fall off and he'll still be fat and ugly afterwards. Unlike this beautiful rainbow, which is the very first fish 
I have caught on the bung fishing on the dark side what could be more rewarding so now Mr Space has learned the error of his ways he's now catching fish on the bung and so am I <laughs> again <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what, if it's any consolation, you can add mine to yours and claim, well, you would have had them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Combat fishing at its best. <laughs> Well, in the last 20 minutes, I've got to be honest, I've swapped onto the dark side of fishing now. I'm following Mr. Chater here, fishing under the bung for the first time in my life. I've always acknowledged it's an efficient way of catching fish, but I've always thought it was boring. It's not really fly fishing. No, it still isn't fly fishing, but I have to accept it is good fun because in the last 20 minutes, I'm now up to six fish. Um, there's nobody else on the lake catching other than Mr. Chater here and I. I think Metal Mickey's on 18 or 19 and I'm on 6. 20. Uh, he's into number 20. Um, surprise, surprise. Oh, I think I'm into one as well. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> Uh, actually, Mr. Chater's fish has swam into my line. Yeah. So, being the gentleman that I am, I will release line to enable him to land his fish. Chater, just get that fish off my line. I shall do in a minute. I've got, I've got my snip. Oh, thank you. What's he done? It's very generous of him. Fish care first, Tony. So, Mr. Chater's just landed fish number 20. Um, because of his slack habits and the way he's careless with the fish, he managed to foul up my line and stop me fishing for five minutes and then he wonders why he's in front. But, uh, as I say, we're now, we're fishing the bung. It is good fun. We've had some cracking fish. Two of my six have been the most gorgeous blue trout. Um, it's just phenomenal good fun. Um, nobody on the lake is catching. Um, I think we've got a lot of resentful eyes looking this way. Hateful, for the word. Hateful. Hateful looks are coming our way. Um, this is what fishing's all about. It's not so much about the method, as long as the method's legal, it's about going home with a smile on your face. Yes, fishing on the bung has definitely put a smile on my face. Smile, well, if his grin got any wider, the top half of his head would fall off. 21. Now, answer me that. Why did he get a take then and I've not? Because you're not the best buzzer fisherman. <laughs> and you hate the bung. A good loop. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game is ridiculous now. 41. You're just being excessive now and greedy. Why don't they, why don't they build that? Because everybody else is being sporting and just taking a reasonable number. I'm up to the fish though. How dare you? Well, it's definitely a buzzer day today, that is for sure. Red on. We've come to the end of a fantastic day's fishing. 90% of the fish we've caught on the bung. Mick Jate has just finished off with his 50th fish of the day. That's right, 5-0, 50 fish in a day with a superb display of fishing on the bung. Everyone's been released totally unarmed. He really has got to be up there with one of the best bung fishermen in the country. He is for my money, certainly in the top 10. Tell us what your golden days are. Anyone who sends in a great story with a photographic evidence will send you a prize. Tight lines. Subscribe to our channel, the GAC Derby. That way you'll never miss another video. We'll see you again next time when we're going to be fishing one of the southern fisheries, looking for something a little bit bigger.